There was a point in my life when I did not have a two-day weekend. Most of the weekends were taken up by work. I used to work in the big four consulting firms and I used to love consulting. However, I was extremely overworked and underpaid. And if you are feeling a bit jittery about your current work situation, here are five warning signs that your job might be ruining your life. The first sign is that you get the Sunday scaries or the Monday blues. This was not really happening to me because I was working through the weekends, most weekends. But in my last job, it became quite apparent that on Sundays, I was starting to switch on to get into work and not looking forward to it. And that is when I knew that I needed to change my job. In fact, according to a LinkedIn poll, over 75% of people actually report to getting the Sunday scaries. And over 67% of the people surveyed by Better Health report to having the Sunday scaries. And that's not okay. It's a mental health pandemic caused by work, which we cannot afford as a society right now, because especially if you live in the West, you will realize that there are so many open positions which actually need to be filled up but they can't find people to actually do that work. So actually finding a job you love becomes critical not only for your own health, but also for the health of the economy. The second one is that you feel underpaid, undervalued and underappreciated. Actually, the other day I asked on one of my favorite work forums as to why people were unhappy in their jobs if they were unhappy. And the overwhelming majority said that they were underpaid, undervalued, overworked, under-resourced, under-appreciated, exhausted. And if you are feeling like that, that is a very telltale sign of the fact that you need to start looking for a new job. And in fact, if you feel like you are overworked, you deliver a lot of value, but you don't get paid as much, or if you have actually had a look at other resources online and looked at what other people are getting paid for the same sort of work and you find that you actually are massively underpaid, it's time to look for a new job. You could, some resources that I recommend are Payscale or Glassdoor or an anonymous forum by Glassdoor called Fishbowl and having a benchmark number helps you to negotiate your salary for the new job and also while you are negotiating your salary or a raise in the current job. Unless you know the numbers outside, how do you even go about negotiating the job? And when you know that your worth in the market is a lot more than what you are getting paid, and you have had that conversation with your boss, and you still don't see any change in your salary, you it's probably time that you need to find a new job. The third warning sign is that you are worried about a layoff. As we have discussed in this channel before, there have been tons of layoffs across banking and tech. However, what we don't realize is that if you are someone who's worried about a layoff, it's either because you are not sure about the value that you are delivering to your organization, or you simply have been there for far too long to be confident that actually, even if you were to get laid off, you will just take a few weeks to find another job. So actually worrying about layoffs typically happens to people who feel stuck in their careers. And it has nothing to do with how long you have been at your employer. As long as you know that you are providing value to your employer and you will not be laid off, or if you know that your market or if you actually or if you really know your market worth and the next warning sign is that you don't get along with your boss or your team and this does not mean that you are superior or they are superior it just means that the fit the organizational fit is not there and if the fit is not there then there's no point trying to force a fit it's like staying stuck in a toxic relationship and why would you want to do that if you can find a more nurturing relationship outside your current workplace and there are companies out there who would be delighted to have you 
so it's much wiser to go and find a new job that appreciates you values you and also it really motivates you to put in the best at work so that the other company that you join also values from your skills from your enhanced motivation from your expertise in fact one of my earlier bosses once told me that rarely will you do your best work with a bad team unless you get that camaraderie within the team going you will always do subpar work and when i think back to my consulting days the best projects that i worked on the most cutting edge projects that i worked on and some of them are pretty cutting edge ai projects that we did that we landed about 7 years back and even now people have no clue how to go about doing this stuff this is the stuff that i'm getting hired for in the industry as well and i remember when i was on that project team i was not sleeping it was not because i was overworked but because i was so excited to bring this new thing to life and everyone in my team was as excited we all were really contributing to that project we all felt like a great happy team and it did not feel like we were overworked it felt like we were creating something new we were pushing the boundaries and i know it might sound like you are burning out but you never burn out when you work with the best people doing your best work it's only when you don't work on the best things that it's only when you work on things that you don't enjoy with people you don't enjoy to do it with is when you burn out and i have had cases of burnout in my consulting career far too many times but that one project that i'm talking about was nowhere close to a burnout even though i was working through holidays even though i was actually working late nights and weekends and so on because i was working on things that i enjoy with an excellent team who are some of my best friends till today so if you don't get on with your team it's probably time that you look outside and find your dream team the next warning sign is that you have been stuck at the same title at the same job for over 3 years and look i get it sometimes it does take about 4 to 5 years to transform a business especially if you work within technology data and all of those fields However, you will know when you feel stuck. It's not that you are pushing the boundary and you are changing things. You feel stuck when you are pushing the boundary, but it feels like you are pushing against a wall. And if that's how you're feeling, you know that you are stuck. And and look, there's no shame in accepting that many of us go through career seasons where we want a bit of slow down, a bit of settlement in our jobs. because we want to prioritize other things in our lives and that's perfectly okay but if you have been in that phase for 5 7 10 years even 15 years and now you want to try and push out and give yourself a challenge of learning something new or you want to go and explore what other things you could do and you feel stuck in your current job i encourage you to look out because you might not realize how much you are missing out by not picking up another skill by not only in terms of finances but also in terms of personal gratification the pride that respected experts take in showcasing their work because they know that they always do the best that they can and if you are feeling like an exhausted underpaid underappreciated undervalued stuck employee in a particular job i would highly recommend you go take the quiz that i leave in the description box below to understand if you are really positioned for career growth to become a respected expert in your industry and if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing it does help the channel out a lot and if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy something like this or this and i'll see you the next time bye